近，美國地質調查局將強調。December 26, 2004, one of the strongest earthquakes ever recorded struck off the west coast of Aceh, Indonesia, triggering massive tsunami waves that cut a path of destruction across borders. Coastal communities in countries around the Indian Ocean were caught unprepared for the enormity of the devastation as surging walls of water swallowed up lives and livelihoods. Every direction, the water come and it like, you know, attack me. And we are not quite understand about what is tsunami. The only warning it came from people surrounding is still like, come on, the water is coming uh, to our land. Over 230,000 lives were lost and over 5 million people were affected by the tsunami. A key lesson from this human tragedy was the importance of early warning. When the wave struck, early warning systems in the Indian Ocean were inadequate. It was like 10 years ago and it's still fresh on my mind. The tsunami of 2004 changed the way the world approached natural phenomena. The scale and impact of the disaster forced governments and institutions to react and prepare. Indian Ocean Tsunami was an eye-opener, actually, for the disaster management community in the region, particularly in the Indian Ocean countries. The mechanisms to get information to people at risk didn't exist. Uh, people weren't educated about the event. And there were no monitoring systems within the Indian Ocean to uh, detect whether a tsunami had been generated and how big it was and the areas that it might affect. In the aftermath of the tsunami, the Asia-Pacific region embarked on a collective effort to build greater resilience to disasters. In 2005, the United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific, ESCAP, partnered with Thailand and Sweden to set up a trust fund to strengthen early warning for tsunamis. The trust fund has grown to include seven donor countries and has supported numerous projects and initiatives, benefiting 19 countries in the region. Its work has included training local communities in emergency evacuations, installing new monitoring equipment, and supporting the establishment of the Indian Ocean Tsunami Warning System, the IOTWS, which became operational in 2011. This new system is the cornerstone of the region's heightened level of preparedness for tsunamis. Three countries, uh, Australia, Indonesia and India, have set up regional systems that can detect tsunamis and then uh, detect earthquakes and then inform people if there is a threat coming by. Countries across the region have recognised they can do more, much more, to educate and prepare people, even with limited resources. Evacuation and other procedures have become a foundation for disaster risk reduction projects. Many initiatives have been implemented during the past decade, which have built coastal community resilience and strengthened end-to-end -end early warning systems. As a region, we have come a long way since the tsunami. We are far better prepared today than we were in 2004. Systems are now in place that we needed to maintain and keep upgrading. There is still much more work to do, especially to ensure that the most vulnerable and remote communities at the last mile are reached with timely warning information. Regional cooperation is key. The tsunami of 2004 will never be forgotten, and although much has been done during the past 10 years, more natural disasters will occur. Ongoing preparations for disaster events must therefore continue.